Hi everybody, this is Jeremy Moskowitz, Group Policy MVP and Founder of Policy Pack Software. And in this super short video, I'm gonna show you how to work around the most annoying thing. You've seen this, you've had this problem, we're gonna fix it together. Which is, let me show you this problem. You've used RDP and connected as some standard user or as an admin to some endpoint machine. And you decide you're gonna do something in group policy land and you decide you want to check to see if it's working. So you go to uh, run a command prompt and you run gp update slash force and you've seen this, what happens? Well, the connection drops, that's no fun. So it turns out there's a garden variety pack of ways you can solve this. One way is you can walk up to the machine or you could use group policy. For this demonstration, I'm gonna just walk up to the machine and show you the registry punch you would need to do to make this problem go away. So let me reconnect to my computer one here. I'm gonna log on as an admin here, that's Trixie. Okay, and now that I'm logged on as the admin, see the session is still there. So let's just run reg edit here and I'm the local admin, and I gotta find this setting. This is HK local machine under system, and we dive down under current control set, under terminal. So once we're on current control set, we're gonna just find a value. The value we're looking for is kind of weird. It's called F deny. Uh, actually, it's F deny TS connections, but if you just search for F deny here, there it is, and you're looking for F deny TS connections. And you can see it's a one here. Check this out. If you set it just to zero and click okay here, what should happen is the next time you run GP update slash force, magic. It doesn't close the session and you're ready to go. So if you've ever had this problem where you're trying to remote into a machine, run GP update to test something, and for the love of Pete, it's not working, just remember, you can use that registry setting and you can blast that same registry setting out using group policy preferences or policy pack or any number of items and get it out there and uh, you'll be ready to go. Hope this video helps you out. Talk to you soon.